In today's episode, we're going to be focusing on the stock to flow model for Bitcoin and talking about the really pivotal updates, a crucial update that we're seeing here for Bitcoin's price action relative to the stock to flow line. And we're going to be talking about also the indicator here, right, that we see here in terms of the model variance and its undersold oversold territory. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this in the future and let's dive right in. So when it comes to the stock to flow model, it really does impact quite significantly based on how many days we are from the halving event. And as you can see here on the color coding, the closer we get to the halving, the bluer we get in terms of the stock to flow level. So in terms of light blue and dark blue, that's when we get really close to the halving event, which is represented here by this horizontal or at least vertical dashed line here. And when we pass beyond the halving, then we change the color coding into red, orange, and then yellow, with green being essentially the maximum point of financial risk. So right over here, when we're quite far away from the halving event after the halving, we get to the green region, the green color coding, and this is where we tend to see maximum financial risk. And on the other side of that, whenever we're in the blue color coding, so before the halving, that's maximum financial opportunity for Bitcoin. And historically, this has really been the case where being in the blue region is a point of bargain buying in the longer and grander scheme of things. And when we really just focus on the stock to flow line here, anything below that line tends to be a bargain buying opportunity. So in the 2017, 20, 2016, 2015, 2017 cycle, you can see that this bear market of December 2018, the bear market bottom downside deviation below the stock to flow line and then overextension beyond that line as we go into the bear, into the bull market. So overextension beyond the stock to flow line is when we tend to see some sort of peaking in a bull market and downside deviation below it is where we see a bear market bottom form. So the stock to flow line represents and acts as a key reference point for price, upside deviations preceding bull market tops and downside deviations representing bear market bottoms. And this has been the case for quite a long time over the past few years. And when Bitcoin tends to rally towards the upside to its new bull market peak, it tracks this stock to flow line quite considerably because as we head into the Bitcoin halving, prior to the halving, we see a horizontal line most of the time. So this is slightly inclining as we approach this halving. But in recent years, we've seen just this line become a bit more horizontal. And after the halving, we see a, an adjustment. And then after the halving, after that bull market peak occurs, we see yet another horizontal. So right now, this horizontal is not inclining. But after the halving, we're going to see that. And you can see how around this horizontal line, we saw downside and upside deviations. So upside deviation beyond this line, then downside deviation for extreme fear and maximum pessimism and, and fantastic bargain buying opportunity, and then upside deviation for that point of maximum financial risk before extreme greed and euphoria precede downside. So then after this halving in 2020, we saw price really go towards the upside, track this stock to flow line. And it's possible we'll, we'll also see that in this next cycle tracking with this line. But I don't believe that we're going to really revisit this line right over here, because if we just focus on where that line really resides, 452,000, that really does seem like a very high level for Bitcoin to, to try and revisit and upside deviate beyond. I don't believe we're going to rally that high in this upcoming cycle. But one of the things to mention here, this level is around the 55k region. And that's going to be a level that where we break beyond at some point, most likely beyond the halving event. So we'll probably still be below this level going into the halving. But after the halving, we're going to break beyond that 55k region and try to track this level. And it's probably going to be tracking in this sort of fashion where we still stay below it, although probably quite considerably below it, given how this line is going to just represent higher and higher prices. 
But probably the last thing that we need to talk about here is this modal variance. Whenever we see modal variance revisit these lows here, that represents fantastic opportunity in terms of bargain buying. So you can see here, this was essentially the bear market bottom here once again bear market bottom as well on the stock to flow model variance so we've broken beyond and out from this bear market bottom bargain buying region and we've been making higher lows on the model variance and if at any point we do revisit these lows right over here that's going to be bargain buying territory and on the flip side of that anything in this region, maybe even this region here, when we get into the red regions in terms of model variance, that's going to be the point of maximum financial risk. And it occurs close to the bull market peaks, but also close to peaks in a macro reaccumulation area. So for instance, in June 2019, we also saw a peak right over here. So essentially what we're trying to do here is go from bargain buying opportunity to the maximum point of financial risk after the halving once it overextends to this region. And that's going to be a region where de-risking and dollar cost averaging out of a Bitcoin position would probably be good. But generally over the past few years, we've seen upside deviating beyond the stock to flow line. And we're probably not going to be seeing much upside deviation beyond here. I feel like this stock to flow model might change in that respect that will just continue to maintain below this stock to flow line, never really upside deviating like we did in previous cycles. We'll probably not be able to catch up with this stock to flow line. Although of course I'd love to be wrong on that because the more it tracks this level and deviates beyond it, the higher Bitcoin's price will go. But at the moment and, and going forward, this line is just going to be representing really high price levels. So essentially the stock to flow line is suggesting to us that it will be 100K just after the halving. And if you just focus on historical price action just after the halving, we tend to see lots of consolidation, consolidation before we finally really do take off. Although 2013 was an exception here. But generally speaking, I feel like tracking but just below it, considerably below it, and never really to upside deviate beyond it. But in any case, we are approaching the halving. We are in bargain buying territory according to this data science metric and indicator. Anything that was blue has historically been something that we could improve on quite considerably in our investments. So even buying in this blue region, we'd see fantastic upside later on. Buying in this blue region, we'd see fantastic upside later on. And the same in, in this cycle as well. Right over here, we're probably going to see a fantastic appreciation on these price levels in the future as well. So Bitcoin is very much in a confirmed bull market and you can check out more about that in this video in the top right hand corner and I'll speak to you in that one.